The After Effects version of the Gal Toolkit extension has a unique category called Audio Visualizers, and this is where you can have any visualizer react to your audio whether it be a person talking or some music. First, we need to make a new composition by clicking on the comp icon. And here you can customize the name of your composition. It's not necessary, it's optional. Then press OK. So now we can go to our Gal Toolkit extension, and from here we can choose the Audio Visualizers category. And you can see here, we first see a variety of different circular audio visualizers. If we scroll down, you can see there's also some line options as well, and you can hover over each one to preview how they look. Once you find the one that you want, just click Apply, and it will apply into your composition. Position. To customize, we first need to replace the image and insert our own audio. And here you can select the visualizer layer, go to the customizer from the Gal Toolkit, text and holders, and here click on the image. And then we can drag our photo into the image comp here and use the S key to scale it down to fit into frame. And then from the main comp, we can go back up to text holders, music. So now we can drag in our audio sample into this comp. And this is the audio that the visualizer will react to. So we can close the image and music placeholders here. Then we can go back to the audio visualizer comp and we can double click on this visualizer composition within this and then select the control layer. And going to effect controls, this is where we're able to customize our audio visualizer. Let's play it back with the default settings so you can see what it looks like. So first off, you can see that the time is incorrect. The first thing to customize is the time. Because our audio is only six seconds, let's change minutes to zero and seconds to six. And now the time is updated. And next, we can click on time reverse from six. And as you saw, you can see the audio wave has a low amplitude due to the volume of my recording. So let's make it higher by using the amplitude height controller. Let's increase it to 1770, for example. We can also increase the frequency bands to make the bands closer together for a different look. We can also make other adjustments to the box width, for example, and add a drop shadow. Now, if we go back to our main comp here, you can see that there's a special marker that's named outro animation. You can click on this to move this to the length of your audio, so that way when it ends, the element will disappear too. And here's the result. And if this video is helping you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So using our Gal Toolkit, you can create custom audio visualizers in just a couple of minutes. I encourage you to check out more Gal Toolkit extension tutorials on this channel, and I'll see you next time.